Hey everyone, Genome here. So I'm coming at you with a new series. It's not really new, but it's kind of going to be a how-to. And this is going to be a preparation for DD3 for newer players and players who are just now getting to the mid-game. Uh, I'd say that once you hit Dark Dimension 3, you're basically at the mid-game end game, if that makes sense. So you're basically at the end of the mid-game and you're getting ready to jump into late game. I still consider myself a mid-game player. Some people disagree. Um... I have some fairly strong teams, but I've been playing the game for three years now, so, you know, that's to be expected, but I'm a free-to-play player almost exclusively. I've spent $18 in this game total, and that was like a year and a half ago I did that. I haven't spent anything since then, so all that being said, I am definitely late to the party. Dark Dimension 3 uh, should have been completed by me, even with my roster, like probably three months ago or four months ago at least, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm there now, so uh, I plan on trying to record all the fights. Uh, so you can see what's going on and what to expect. Uh, let me tell you something. You're going to expect a lot of pain. I don't want to do the mode again, but I want my five red stars on alternates if I ever decide to level him, whatever. And there's lots of good gear in here and stuff to go for. So really, it does behoove you to go for the timed run. So yeah, lots of good stuff. So let's get in there. All right, so the first couple nodes are uh, basically anything goes. You see the power levels here. Let's see who I'm going to use. I don't remember who I used. Okay, so I could go in there with the symbiotes, since I just got any venom up there, and that's probably really the best bet. Um, what else we got going on here? Minerva could definitely speed things up, so what I'm probably going to do is try something different. Let's, uh, we're going to put symbiote Spider-Man in the middle. It doesn't really, like, if you're going to run the symbiotes, though, you don't really need much for healers, because they heal themselves. Let's go with Sinister. And, oh man, this is tough. You want to go Black Bolt, but at the same time, you know, he won't be healing himself, and they can they get hurt. So let's let's do Ebony Maw for now. Let's run with this. So if you saw my levels here, Any Venom's definitely the weakest link. Uh, he's only at 68k, 70k, just about. But, uh, you know, the Symbiotes punch way above their weight class. Uh, you see, you saw my Maw was like, what, 112? Uh, Symbiote of Spider-Man's on around 100, I think. Yeah, 102. Uh, Sinister, clocking at 108. And Carnage, I think, is also 102. Yeah, 103 right there. So, not exactly a huge team, but uh, probably a little more than necessary. But you're going to see that is not going to mean a whole lot. So, let's jump into the first fight. And uh, once again, give you some idea of what to look forward to. <clears throat> Sucker! Competitive violence! That's why you're here! <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> One shot. Get look look forward to seeing lots of one shots. <clears throat> As I recall, though, the first node or two wasn't too bad, but we'll see. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and speed up here because we don't care. So, I guess like for those who are just first going into Dark Dimension, it's really important to take a quick look at your adversaries here. So, like the two danger spots I see here, technically there's three really dangerous spots, um, but you're looking at Falcon. Um, because of his special, it's going to be brutal, especially with the uh, symbiotes here, with all the buffs they're going to have. He's going to be getting huge turn meter on his special. So I'd say he's probably priority number one. And if not him, Doc Strange. Uh, you can't afford to be resin or letting them res guys. It's just it's too hard to kill people in this. So those are the two uh, big bads, I'd say. Hellout is probably the third. And it looks like my uh, blue sacks might have just locked up on me. Looks like it did. All right, we'll be right back after this message. I'm sorry, we seem to be having some technical difficulties. All right, so round two. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but Blue Stacks is incredibly volatile for me. I can't ever afford to do, like, war or raids in there because it just freezes up all the time. But maybe just my computer, I don't know. Anyway, as I was saying, <clears throat> I'd say the two most dangerous characters here right now, believe it or not, are actually Falcon and Doctor Strange. Uh, Falcon probably being priority target number one, Doc Strange right after him. Hela falls up probably a distant third. And as, as tempting as it is to kill Ghost Rider at the beginning, usually you just can't afford to. Too many other high priority targets. You're going to have huge damage from Cyclopses here, Cyclops Eye, uh, if you like. And uh, yeah, lots going on here. There's going to be a cleanse from Groot. So this is already going to be a, a big problem node. So let's just go ahead and jump right in there. <clears throat> See what we can do with these uh, symbiotes. Okay. Sinister's clone is usually a huge deal. Let's go ahead and just extend these. 
just for giggles. Sometimes Groot doesn't always start off with that, so. Let's see. Who am I going to clone here? I'm probably going to clone Hela. Um, just for Greg, to be honest with you. That was one th other thing you got to worry about, too, is Strange is special from the, the, the get-go. There's really no good way around this, entr this opener they have. So, yeah. It's tempting to take Falcon, but I'm going to take uh, Hela for many reasons. Greg being the most important, probably. Another body in there is just great. And watch her get nuked first. But, uh, let's see. Hey, we actually have some uh, debuffs to spread there. Nice. He's going to die uh, the next time he clicks. So let's try to uh, slow down Groot somehow. I don't know if we can. <sighs> okay, so we probably can't before Groot cleanses a couple of those things. So maybe we can actually get down Doc Strange. Get some speed bar manipulation here. Darn. Now we actually got to kill Falcon. Okay, and let's go ahead and use the ultimate while we can. And now we got hope we can get Doc Strange down before he launches off his ult. Okay, we're gonna have a stun here, so you gotta be very careful with this stun. I'm gonna go ahead and stun Colossus before he throws a taunt up. He'll do that next turn, and that can really ruin your day. And let those Colossi tear you apart. Look at all those charges on Colossus, so or Colossus on Cyclops. So we gotta really try to nuke him next. We're gonna eat a couple of ults here, looks like though. We can turn rewind him. Oh, he got taunt anyway automatically. Because, oh, I hate auto taunts sometimes. <laughs> well, we got no choice. We're going to sit here and take another ult. So, these are pretty brutal. But they're toned down at least in the first nodes. Like, in later nodes, they're going to wipe you with those. So, Ebony Maw is on death door over there. I hate to burn that. Probably should have done a couple turns ago, but whatever. Okay, that's off now. So let's go ahead and get rid of Cyclops, I guess, because he's going to keep getting charges. Nothing like defense up on everybody to help things along. Let's go ahead and extend here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor Ebony Maw. Uh, now we're stuck behind Colossus again. I would do his alt there, but it wouldn't kill him. So I, It's so hard to tell who has what buffs now. I think I can switch off of him. So let's go ahead and rewind some turn meter. Not enough, though. Oh, sorry, that actually adds disrupted, not turn meter rewind. That was my bad. That's the alt, yeah. So just keep hammering away, okay? Let's get some... Uh, Carnage passives to go off, so let me kind of key this fight. Let's do that again. I'm actually going to use the special here just to ensure that. <laughs> These group together bunches, I swear. Okay. I need to actually T4 his, uh, his ult now I think about it. That should be enough for Cyclops 1. Okay, goodbye, Ebony Maw. We barely knew ye. He's much better with Thanos. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get rid of this Cyclops here before we get ulted again. He didn't have any bleeds on him either. Okay, so now I'm going to go... F Man, this is so difficult. Let's go after Groot, actually, just because of the annoyances of his cleanses and defense up. It's a very synergistic opening, if you think about it. It's very difficult to get through. They open up with a bang in here, so. Okay, he'll be dead on his turn. So let's go ahead and start working on Hela. Something else to keep in mind, too, with this kind of lineup. Ghost Rider's on the other side. Try to have one of your symbiotes uh, kill the character, because... Uh, they'll be able to heal after uh, taking that damage, retribution damage from Ghost Rider, but Hell has no way unless they start killing Gregs here. And he does a clone, so whatever. Okay, there should be a Frenzy. 
Okay. Going well, going well. Okay, now I'm gonna start working on Ghost Rider. It, it's tempting to work on Colossus, but it's a lot of damage. Let's see, I lost the clone. And that was one reason to kill Colossus, wasn't it? <laughs> Okay, Groot. Oh, he re he rezzed. Gee, <laughs> many Christmas. Uh, let's go ahead and extend. I'm not going to stun right now. I need that stun for something else, I'm sure. Loki over there being a prime candidate if I can get to him. I don't think I'm going to get a turn for then, though. No. Uh, let's see if this counts for Carnage's passive here. No. I really don't want to kill Groot again. He's going to put defense up on some people, but... Okay, that's who I want to see get tagged. The good thing about uh, Loki... Like, mind-controlling the symbiotes is none of, them, none of them hit technically too hard. So usually you'll survive. But when you have, like, Black Bolt on your side, that gets pretty dicey. So now we can stun. Actually, I'm going to stun Ghost Rider here. Because if Loki puts out his clones, that's just more fodder for the uh, symbiotes. Ah, uh, your heel blocked. Your greatest nemesis. I'm probably going to lose anti-venom here. He's on death's door. He doesn't have heel block, though. If I get a turn, though, that's the problem. Luckily, they're spreading out the damage. Oh, come on. Give me a turn. Oh, they got evades. Not good. You also got to start thinking about cooldowns. I'm not really going to use a um, ultimate here from Sinister because I'm likely dead here real quick. <laughs> so there's no sense in blowing it. Just save it for the next round if you can. Yeah, I lost pretty bad there now. I probably shouldn't even use his heal to be honest with you. But Alright, so there you have it. A 500k team. I got through 5 characters on the first node. I could probably use a, a better team. Or a little bit stronger team, like some sort of Thanos variant. But really, you gotta be careful with tanks in this mode because they will just get annihilated. Even though I got a tier 15 maxed out Red Star Thanos, even he just—you'll see once this damage starts getting ramped up. These these first nodes are puppies compared to what comes in later. Like node eight, oh boy, where are we out of here? Yeah, <laughs> get ready to spend some time over here in node eight. I'm just gonna warn you now, but uh, yeah, so you can see the power difference those guys with here and you see still they're gonna hurt you so yeah i'm gonna try to do a series where i, I go through every node so you can kind of see where i'm at, at at lower levels you know to try to get to this node so hopefully this is helpful to some people and if you want to see more of these just let me know in the comments below all right till next time this is genome 